scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. It is the degree to which we align with the program of God. That is the degree to which we will command the investment of His power, His grace, His resources, and even His backing. If you're with me, say amen. amen. I started this teaching by singing a song. That song has been an anthem of my heart for many years. To see to it that the nations come to the cross. It is not because I'm a man of God. Because you will be learning that world evangelization is really not for preachers. World evangelization is not for preachers. You will be learning that preachers prepare those who do the world evangelization. He gave gifts to men. The gifts are not talents. The gifts are men to men. Why? For the perfecting or maturing of the saints. That they, the saints now matured, will do the work of the ministry. As can now give the nations to you. Oh Lord, that's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands we see. Your light as it rises and Listen to what you are singing. I stand now in the nations to you. Oh Lord, that's the cry of my heart. What is evangelism? No, 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 not rise. Please sit. I meant right. What is evangelism? Let's redefine evangelism. What exactly is evangelism? Evangelism is telling someone about Jesus, not necessarily. What is evangelism? <laughs> evangelism has to do with deploying any and every scriptural strategy listen carefully every and any scriptural strategy that enthrones ends up enthroning christ in the hearts of men evangelism has to do with the deploying of any and every scriptural strategy that will end up revealing, if you want to add, an enthroning Christ in the heart of man. It's called evangelism. So evangelism is not limited to preaching. Evangelism is not limited to tracts. In fact, the days that we live in right now, conventional evangelism has been threatened by status quo or by, by the new norm that we have. You corner somebody and you are talking to the person they can arrest you because you are standing there and the person can you are trying to bring a track from your pocket they can say it was a pistol so the dynamics have changed there are few people today few nations where you can be given permission to park stadiums and preach what then is the strategy jesus was preaching and teaching and he said go ye into all the world is that true now 
then he says preach the gospel and he tells you who to preach it to all creation he told you what to do go he told you to go and preach to declare to proclaim he told you where to go all the world he told you when to go now but he never told you how to do it the how was left to your creativity and the civilization you find yourself in please listen carefully he told you what to do he told you when to do it he told you where to do it but he never told you how to do it because you would have to depend on the wisdom of the spirit past civilization to invent an effective strategy that will be able to make that happen is God speaking to us so the how is flexible the message will never change the recipient of the message will never change the urgency of the assignment will never change but there has to be flexibility to our approach and our inability to wait with the Holy Spirit to allow the how that was assigned for this generation is why there is inefficiency in reaching the unreached we are trying to use a how a template that is inconsistent with the reality of the times so if I have to depend today on packing every stadium in Nigeria and Europe it means there are people who will never hear the gospel is that true how come Islam respectfully speaking is the fastest growing religion in Europe sir and we have never seen them fill one stadium so by what strategy is that happening statistics you go and read it there are many places that experience the move of God in the Middle East and certain parts of Africa that are being invaded right now by Eastern religions invaded right now what strategy is being used we don't see crusades we don't see conferences we don't see empowerment programs yet there is a move that does not seem to be resisted we need to go back to our how we missed a very powerful instruction he didn't say go yet he said pray ye the Lord of the harvest who is the Lord of the harvest Lord means owner the one who is in charge of this program there was one who was put in charge of this program he said pray that he will send laborers not look for laborers send laborers he sends them with a strategy this was the secret behind Joshua's conquest when they got to Jericho he did not assume that because they were prior victories for every new battle there was a strategy and when he got there what is the strategy the men are uncircumcised there is no consecration so there cannot be that encounter and he said first things first cut the foreskin of all the men that was what happened after that circumcision happened the next thing a stranger came and he said I'm ready to partner with you now who are you because God told him that no man will be able to stand against you he removed the sword and the man had to explain say no 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 no, no. I came to give you a strategy for this battle here is the strategy you can't kill everybody one by one that strategy worked in another battle but now it is not one by one there is a strategy that will bring the whole system down did you not read in your Bible that Babylon the great is falling it says in one hour did you ever ask what strategy brings down that system that formidable system the Bible says Jericho was shot nothing could come in and nothing could go out what a system five chariots could stand on the fence of Jericho so how do you penetrate such a system Rahab lived in the wall of Jericho the fence of Jericho was wide enough to be a house it would have been a, a fatal battle for the nation of Israel to have tried to fight directly do you look at study their security architecture and see how powerful it was the spies entered and interacted with Rahab within a short time the report had gotten to the king with precision as to who came how do you defeat that kind of place no 
so if you think you will defeat a world with command of social media where there are voices there is a large orientation we must return to the lord of the harvest the first strategy for evangelism is not going is prayer lord of the harvest we are we are we are limited until you come and give us the blueprint pray ye the lord of the harvest how does he train people to walk faster by saying tarry ye it's in your bible how did he make the early church effective he said tarry so in your waiting you are faster in your waiting you are faster every time god says wait he only made your journey faster so now can we understand what god has been doing in this church from january till now it's a mystery that when god says tarry is a secret code he's saying i have moved you 10 years i have moved you 15 years ahead already but because the natural man cannot understand the things of the spirit you may think all you are doing is just prayer no the prayer of 50 days in one day brought 3,000 souls when the Lord of the harvest came on that day of Pentecost he announced his coming with power and great grace in one encounter 3,000 people were saved Please sit down. Listen, let me tell you this. The real prayer point in this season is not God give me tea. God give me bread. He will. The real prayer point is not God make me famous. The real prayer point that commands the attention of heaven today it's not oh god let me rise greater than every pastor let me be the man of god that everybody knows that is nonsense that is not prayer consistent with the heart of god the real prayer is lord reintroduce us to the lord of the harvest there is something about him we do not know hold on carefully oh dear i wish i had the time we would have come to that lord of the harvest the spirit of truth himself how in the world do you plan to evangelize the globe and yet not know him the lord of the harvest is not the father the lord of the harvest is not the son the son is the cause of the harvest not the lord of the harvest the lord of the harvest is the spirit he told the disciples tarry you have met the cause of the harvest but wait until you meet the lord of the harvest Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known with you, the glory of the risen Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known with you, the glory of the Let the weight of your glory come. Let the light of your river flow. Let the truth of your kingdom let it rain us. Let the weight of your glory. The weight of your glory Everyone who was to be used as a witness for this world evangelization, the first thing that happened was he was introduced to the Lord of the harvest. I hand you over to the Lord of the harvest. So he comes and he begins to teach you. He comes and he begins to guide you. He says when he the spirit of truth is come, he will reprove the world. Who will do the reproving? 
you don't have the power to reprove an arrogant world you don't have the power to convince an arrogant world the disciples tried it it did not work they tried it did not work peter himself who did not have the strength he had seen miracles but he denied jesus when the witness denies jesus what then happens to the one to be witnessed but when the spirit of truth came the bible says handkerchiefs and aprons were taken from the bodies look at those timid individuals running up and down when they caught jesus only john the beloved remained and mary they all ran away they saw power but they had not met the lord of the harvest when the lord of the harvest came in power please listen he did not come to a people who were loitering around he came to a people who are tarried they didn't tarry for one day old. 50 days 40 days of lecture 10 days of extra waiting and then he came now when the day of pentecost was fully come ah, when peter saw them they said these men were drunk peter said no this is that that was the beginning of his sermon this is that and peter with the mastery of a well-mentored student he began from prophet joel down to the psalmist and he said that same jesus you have crucified today he has been exalted as lord and christ the bible says they were caught to the heart and they said men and brethren what do we do he said repent for the remission of your sins and then you shall receive this gift for the promise for the promise is unto you and to your children and to your children's children as many as the lord our god shall call world evangelization is not just about moving from house to house to knock to tell people you are a sinner repent they will arrest you and jail you and kill you you will die early and it will not be persecution it will be the death of a fool there has to be a receiving of a how from heaven listen our victory in today's world is not from our oratory let me tell you the people who turned the world upside down were not that we think that ministry and world evangelization will happen just because we can speak english just because we went to school no sir there has to be another strategy our assignment in the place of intercession and prayer is to wait until he comes and he comes with our how so for you he can come and say my strategy for your efficiency as a witness is go around jericho seven times and while you are going around it does not make sense do you know why i'm telling you this years ago the holy spirit spoke to me before internet became a mainstream that people would put messages and do all of this it was in the place of prayer and the lord spoke to me he said no my strategy for you will not be what was at that time it was a major part of the revenue for a ministry would come from sales of you know cds cassettes and all of that and the lord said it will not be like that for you he says put it online that is my strategy my angel will take it to the nations this was this was over a decade plus i stupidly believed because he gave me the how can I tell you, you will fail as a witness until you stay to receive your how. One of the major assignments of prayer is not just for petitions, it's for alignment. Lord, where am I and where are you? Let prayer bring us together so that the how will be downloaded. When my how comes, don't sit down again. You pray, this is how you know that you have come to the end of your prayer. You don't stop till you receive the how what is the blueprint for the next season many believers do not understand the dynamics of prayer nor the superior power that is invested in the ministry of strategic prayer with understanding you don't pray until you are tired you pray with the goal of receiving how the saints triumph in time past because they would stay with god should i pursue lord what should i do 
they will remain there until the how comes can i tell you the how is a trigger when you receive it it comes with power it's shut up in your bones you cannot be silent there are businessmen who have not received the how to be able to do kingdom business that beats babylon to its knees so we go by secular invention trying to use a cart to carry the ark and we meet many casualties on the way god's end time agenda is to reach the nations through this twofold witness of the gospel enthroning christ in the hearts of men and bringing through our excellence and the dexterity of our results the mindsets the value system of the kingdom across territories if we fail in this we are not effective witnesses and our assignment is not just thank god for secular formulas but you must know that secular formulas will produce secular results we need to go back and say lord you are the lord of the harvest how will this happen and he says for you you are going to have a bank and the name of the bank will be this this and that i will place an anointing on your bank and you will bank with kings and you will stand up and open a bank and people will say you are a banker they are right but they are wrong you are a banker who is executing banking as the how for your witness now that banking you you will see that in that banking is the mandate to reach the captains of that industry who would not come to an evangelist they perceive to be poor so god gives you the royalty and the regalia of the palace so that you can reach them for someone your how can be an investment of the tremendous healing power of god upon your life because you may not have the excellency of speech and just by speaking people will not listen but he will honor you with a demonstration of the spirit in a way that confounds principalities and powers you have received your how now time to go so you get to a place and say good morning and someone gets up from a wheelchair good afternoon and a blind eye opens good night when you leave they will follow you all men seek for him now in the simplicity of your heart you can tell them i came with a simple message jesus saves jesus heals how could they deny it when your evidence is standing in front of you i forgot to tell you that the ultimate index for being an effective witness is that you must have your evidence no witness is truly a witness until your evidence stands in front of you in acts chapter 3 when they healed the man at gate beautiful are we together now acts chapter 3 from let's see 316 acts 316 they were summoned by the council and they began to make uh they began to speak and and talk in defense he says and his name through faith in his name had made this man strong whom ye see and know yea the faith which is by him had given this man perfect soundness in the presence of you all 17 and now brethren i word that through ignorance he did as your rulers and all of that go ahead uh let's try 20. there's something i'm looking for keep please keep scrolling down to get to the point where he says the the bible says that they could not deny it because the man was standing right there in their midst that's what that's the scripture i'm looking for they couldn't deny the result because these were witnesses with their evidence the man who sat at the beautiful when you say god sent me to build a bank and they look at you and say you're a carnal person instead of you to be preaching you are building a bank god says don't worry your evidence will soon be standing your gospel is powerful to the degree that you preach with your evidence standing in front of you So there are many people who do not receive that how they do not meet the lord of the harvest and then they start a church and then people come and they say the lord sent me to transform your life five years the people are not changed and they'll say you know what 
I thank you for this your call I don't doubt your call you are not fake but I, I want my life to be real I'm going to move somewhere else quietly and look for a solution and now you are wondering you know many times I see pastors and they say apostle what am I doing wrong and I tell them what you are doing wrong is not the call what you are doing wrong is you do not understand the dynamics of being called and being sent just because you are called does not mean you are sent you are called to Jesus you are sent to the world so you must understand the difference between your being called and your commission when he calls you it is follow me when he makes you then he sends you the empowerment is not when you are being called the training is when you are being called it is when you are being sent that you are empowered there are many people whose call is genuine but they are not yet sent you can be so effective in your following Jesus that people will tell you you are too effective you should be sent now and you can graduate yourself from the school of the spirit and be shocked that you know Jesus so well but you have not met the Lord of the harvest follow me why did he introduce them to the Holy Spirit again when they had been with him I know Jesus I agree I have met Jesus I agree I love Jesus I agree you will be shocked that you will still be ineffective because Jesus is not the Lord of the harvest he is the cause of the harvest if it is the harvest you want Jesus will grant you that access to now be introduced to this personality called the Lord of the harvest sir you are a man of the spirit and you have seen the great hand of God I do not know one preacher one kingdom person doing so much for God who did not encounter the Lord of the harvest the generals who have gone to be with the Lord today they cried and called his name and said make sure you meet the Holy Spirit T.L. Osborne Catherine Coleman great men even within our soil here and those that continue to do exploits they will tell you the reason for their exploit is because of their relationship with that Lord of the harvest the how only comes from him he is the Lord of the harvest it is not your harvest it is his harvest so you must wait until he gives you the blueprint hear me for some of you by reason of this prayer you need to shut down on what you are doing and return back and say spirit of the living God I come I am tired of five years of rigmaroling I've been doing things I thought it was you but now it's becoming clear that there is the evidence that should have come is not there rather than running up and down I will stay like my pastor has taught me spirit of the living God I am waiting the how of my destiny revealed to me and God will speak to you and say dear young lady your assignment is connected to your marriage until you marry Ahasuerus you cannot reign as Esther now you begin to prepare for marriage unusually and people say what is this your passion it's not just about a desire to marry he has told you your how is connected to the palace and until you arrive at the palace you have no assignment if you are marry your how is to make sure your womb is protected to be able to carry Jesus if you allow anything happen to that womb and you cannot carry Jesus then you have no assignment the first miracle this afternoon is the prayer to say Lord it is clear that the how has not yet come the stagnancy in my life the confusion in my life it is clear that the how I know that you have called me and I love you but could it be that I have ignored the ministry of this Lord of the harvest the Spirit of grace the Holy Spirit changed my life he's revealed the how part time per season I remember when my time in Zaria was wrapping up I started having this these promptings of the spirit because you see the way God works with me the month of June September and December are prophetic months I have worked with God in, enough to know you must discern the seasons where his voice comes prophetically his voice can speak every day but know when the waters are about to be stirred that has it is through your consistency of staying with God every time June September 
December. I'm not careless with those months. He's at liberty to use any time. But by my dealings with him, it's not a doctrine. It's a personalized dealing. That this is how God has chosen to walk with me. Do you know the season where he speaks? He's not always speaking, no. He speaks. The Bible will tell you the 10th month and the fourth day, the word of the Lord came. I began to sense it in my heart I said Lord in truth I would tell you I didn't know whether it was Abuja or somewhere I just knew that it was time to expand the work and to do all of this for three years I struggled with the Lord praying and praying let me tell you something with God you don't pray until you are tired you don't pray until you are tired you pray until how comes I remember I took the time praying and praying and here's what happened I will tell you it's it's a miracle do you know when I finally left Zaria it was unplanned for I went to South Africa for a meeting returned back for a meeting in Lagos and then I now had to rush back to UK where the last people who left London before they shut down for the pandemic so I returned back to Abuja rushing to do the miracle service in Zaria when they announced that there has been shut down lockdown for the next three months that's how my how came up. that I was there and I said now just did a video to tell them okay I love you people and um, there's there's lockdown and so everybody and I used that time to begin to pray and the Lord said the season has come I said God where again what is all this whether it was Abuja or Joss or anywhere, I would be the last person to want to be in Abuja. Believe me, I love Abuja, wonderful place, but I just said, no, 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 I'm not sure I'm ready. Maybe let me go somewhere else. And I remember one day, see, it is a difficult thing to live in the silence of God. When God is silent, keep praying. Don't assume a voice that is not there. Satan is a master at speaking in the silence of God so that you will think he's the one. But prayer can filter it. Prayer can always cause the viper that is hiding in the wood to come out. So prayer is a tool for discerning error. If you hear and you are not sure, stay and hear again. Once have I spoken, God is not at, he, he, he can allow you to hear even if it's five times. Provided to end up letting you know that all power belongs to God. I took out time praying, praying and through one or two prophetic confirmations that came from great men of god and then something happened one night i remember the lord now gave me an instruction he said by the map of abuja the map of nigeria the map of africa and the map of the globe lord this is not what i'm asking you for clarify i'm grateful for that one i sent immediately they brought the map i began to pray intensely praying on those things and then the final confirmation came i had set my i was not even praying just enjoying worship and as i placed my head i just saw the vision the map of abuja this when you are coming towards that stadium side i still don't know even the names of this this you know and i saw that that map like the city gate that's why you see the poster that introduced this i said look for that gate and replicate it immediately i saw it I said this is that lord grand grace the how had come i didn't care what else was not there the one who brought the how is responsible enough the path of a spiritual man is a very strange path there will be many seasons of unimagined silence in your life never mistaken your tarrying for delay there is a difference between delay and tarrying both of them are the same physical activities but sponsored by different spirits delay is sponsored by a demon spirit the intention is to destroy you and to allow time cheat you tarrying is an advantage so that you will be able to piece together the intelligence and the resources you need and after that tarrying, you will quantum leap into dimensions that you never imagined. I can tell you this. 
let me show you this in the life of Jesus from age 12 we do not hear about Jesus again until age 30 what was happening from that time John the Baptist remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing Moses remained in the wilderness for 40 days tarrying is an art of victory don't ever misunderstand it when God calls a solemn assembly and tells the people tarry you are in sync with how God works hear me people of God from January up until now you have been praying and fasting I do not know the level of spiritual discipline you may have see it's easy to pray and fast maybe when you are a student or a younger person because whether you were fasting or not you almost be the same thing in terms of food to eat you may like most likely be once a day anyway is that true the trouble on your head by reason of limitations will force you to the altar so it was very easy very very easy when there's no school fees there's no house rent there's no whatever you don't need any ginger of an attack or whatever the trouble in itself is self-motivating you can pray until you fish out solutions from the realm of the spirit but now when you have many responsibilities it is a greater demand and a greater sacrifice and you have endured this to pray to fast I have seen the benefit of waiting upon the Lord I have seen the benefit of waiting until the how comes no matter how long wait till you get the how did you hear what I said your pastor has waited Jesus was waiting when they were ahead of him six hours ahead of him those with the boat they had gone whereas he was praying you would call it delay but he got up immediately and started walking on water and within a short time he had caught up with those who went and to the point that they looked at him and said if it be thou bid me come and he said come and Peter also started walking on water listen to me we are going to pray you are wrapping up your time of prayer and fasting but I'm here to join faith with your man of God to instill this as a spiritual culture more than just the end of a program if you end it as a program you've aborted a powerful strategy for victory in your life every time God sends you call the Lord of the harvest and say father I am prepared but I cannot go until the how comes you will know the how you will know that the how has come because both the instruction and the anointing will come the instruction and the anointing hallelujah the instruction and the anointing for some of you your witness is in the area of your career right now but it is not supernatural because the how has not been given you are still working with Sophia human wisdom I am a banker buying and selling that is wonderful unless and until you obtain the wisdom that comes from above and now add it you will see the wonder working power of the spirit Nigeria is in a very trying moment right now even politically and as always there are many opinions coming from everywhere but believers must pray rather than making a lot of noise we need to pray first we are going to act but acting without prayer will only recycle pain because we will judge by the flesh we this week we should use this same formula nationally Lord we do not trust ourselves we are inconsistent in our minds and our hearts and frail and limited but we depend on the Lord of the harvest send us our how and when it comes with bending on bending determination God will enthrone himself we're not the first to be in this situation some of you right now you are in a financial situation don't just get up and say I'm in a financial situation I need is is, is business strategy I listened to a business uh, um, um, uh, uh, what they call it a seminar and he just said just do this I agree and I respect what you heard 
but in this world of spiritual triumph ignore the lord of the harvest and recycle pain ignore the lord of the harvest and recycle negative seasons in your life but you can come to the how and sometimes it can be a ridiculous instruction you are a businessman and things have gone down but the lord is going to give you an instruction and say take a sacrifice and bring it to the life of your man of god i reject this voice how can you come and meet me and say i should do this listen not every pain destroys when a doctor meets a patient who is almost dying the doctor will bring out a syringe and add to the patient who is already crying why will you add pain to somebody in pain in that pain there is a chemical that will flow through that injection into that person and it will begin to bring healing so you will see a, a, somebody who is in the hospital almost as if he's dying and yet the doctor with a heart full of compassion it will be through the channel of that pain and that sacrifice it can happen many times and yet recovery happens mysteriously not every pain is from the devil there is pain as a gift that announces the change of seasons sometimes the pain of carrying isaac is the pain that makes you the father of nations you must learn to discern and interpret pain when you give a patient injection the goal is not to destroy that patient but sometimes you can take five doses a miracle service on Sunday a woman came who had a, a spine one problem and she said she's had over 200 and something injections I couldn't believe it will I stand to allow anybody inject me like that 200 and something what part of my body will be left 200 and something injections how many veins are in my body for some of you you are in a season right now where it looks like spiritually you are in ICU and you've said Lord come and he brought you through the pain of fasting and you are saying but Lord is this how you help people to fast and pray can't you just give me money what is it about money you cannot give me is it my rent or my house why are you what is this thing just bless me directly where are the fishes that have coin in their prophetic you know and God is saying just go through that the pain of fasting is like that spiritual dosage you've been receiving from January to February to March to April to May now to June you will step out of this place and see a burst of vitality within your spirit that after your prayer and fasting someone will call you and say since January I've been looking for you you will now know it's not a demon that kept him God kept him up for you because you would have misused that money misused that opportunity because your spirit was not even sensitive the devil would have led you to make wrong decisions and you would have been in trouble the Lord instructed that I should give you a house in my time. I don't know you but I will obey God and you will hold it and say it's a lie God said what is it about a lie what what is it that is I can't I do it and just while you are saying that somebody parks a car in front of your house and just when you wake up and allow to wake you up that you will report yourself to the police and say I'm reporting myself now so that nobody will say I stole money and then God will now tell you I had the power to do this but my interest is your heart not the things hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed 
and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you